Hello there guys, welcome to the next episode. We finished the last one with a very, very good win in the Vans Trophy. Wow, we're getting to the end of the season. Look how far we've come down. Uh, QPR is the next team. They are second in the league. This is a massive, massive game. As you can see here, we are falling drastically out of these playoff positions. Um, and we've got to win. So this is the team that I've gone for today. There's been a few changes. I've decided to keep Kieran Richardson in because he had a very good game uh, last time. I put Richie Wellens in instead of Bullock this time round. Strachan is still a bit worried for uh, fitness, so O'Connor keeps his place in that defensive midfield role. So let's have a look and see if we can get a win here. There we go. It's a great start by Brett Ormerod. It's about time we had a goal that is actually allowed and not disallowed for being offside. I think it just shows how poor some of the strikers are in terms of their positioning when it comes to getting through on goal. Uh, but this is positive. This is good. We need another one. They've got a goal. Fantastic. Bloody hell. I'm hoping Richardson's going to come up with a bit of magic today because he did the other day. But these guys. These guys don't look that strong. We seem to be actually giving them a good go here. Um, yeah, Duff with the goal. About time he scored as well. He needs to start contributing. And we've got Port Vale in a couple of days afterwards as well. It's all about trying to settle your squad in and make sure that they're not... Oh, God, there we go. There's another bloody red. How did I know that was going to happen? Right, Richards... No. Uh, who should I bring off here? I'm going to bring Brett off because Madeira, up, Madeira likes playing up front on his own anyway. I just hope it wasn't a penalty that's been conceded there. No, it wasn't. Um, we need to just try and stick it out now, which is going to be difficult because these guys are second. Mm. Come on. There we go. Well into with the goal. Brilliant. I'm kind of hoping as well with him <clears throat> that um, it attracts some uh, good teams to come and um, to get him as well. Reed banned for three games. That's quite annoying because we've also got um, Hughes was actually suspended as well. But hopefully now we'll keep that in. Right, Port Vale next. They are in the playoffs. This is another massive game. But that was a big win. It was it was a massive win considering they were second in the league, Queen's Park Rangers. But we go again anyway. What I'd give to have some of those players here now the ones that we're getting on free transfers. I wonder how many more there are, actually. It's a good point. I tried to um, get a goalkeeper on loan, but I'm going to a little look here. So expiring, there's a few others coming up. Got this guy at crew. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, Alan Smart, he was actually on loan with us at the beginning of the season. Oh, no, was he? I don't know. Frank Sinclair. not a bad defender you know should we try and give him a go let's give him a go let's see if we can get him in I think by making a bid it puts a few other teams under pressure to actually do the same um, how good is this guy he was at loan at Wrexham wasn't he long shots pace got a couple of caps for Australia already I don't know. I don't know if he's worth it, to be honest with you. Chris Powell. Left back now. He's not good. He's got no pace. I need someone with a bit of pace at the left. Vincent Silva, no. We've got no fun. This is the problem because we're. Oh, Kevin Sharp's not a bad player. Do you know what? Kevin Sharp actually is not a bad player. I'm going to put him on my transfer list, just see if he... Gary Monk as well. Gary Monk! Tell you what, there's some interesting players here that, that are coming to the end of their contract. Graham Alexander, he's 30. He wouldn't take um, Duff's place though, so there's no point Bob Taylor, Ross Diamonds, Ian Brightwell. Now we'll leave. We'll leave it for now. Okay, we've got a, we've got a big game here now that we've got to focus on. Uh, Richardson's knackered. That's fair enough. So let's bring him off, and we'll just put Clarks in his place. 
how is Strachan doing? He's 100%. There we go. He comes back in. McLeod, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he's quite big-headed, this guy. Um, don't really want to sell him, though, because I think I could probably get... Well, what we could do is... It's what every lower league team uh, club does nowadays, is put um, a buy-on clause within his contract... Uh, put that stipulation in where we get a certain percentage of money for when he moves on. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, because I reckon he'd go for over a million. If we try and get like 20% of the next time he's sold, you never know. It could turn out to be an absolute masterclass. But they'll probably keep him for a while if he's 16, won't they? And then they'll probably move on after he's proved himself. Madeira with a goal. Which is absolutely brilliant. Oh, God, again, they just keep equalising, man. Madeira, 400k at the minute. He is, he's worth. Got him for 8k. It's going to be close. I think we're just going to have to try and creep into these playoff positions. Port Vale, second is Cambridge. You see, even with that Chesterfield game with the Vans Trophy, that home game coming first, that's a game that we need to go for and actually win. This is a nightmare. We're just gonna we keep slipping further and further away from these positions. Gonna ugh. Yeah, see, that's why I said I would rather have I would have rather have beaten them here than in the Vans trophy. All day. I'm going to put Bullock in that position. He's played quite well since he's come on here. That does actually seem a bit of a shame because he has done well there. Right, let me swap these guys around so Clarkson can come off Bullock. Bullock can go on there. Cambridge, where are they? Yeah, well, they're one of those teams. They're fighting for survival. Anything's possible with these guys. I know it is. Oh, here we go. Forest. Right. Two million is what he's on for. He's getting 2,400 quid. Let me have a quick look at our position in terms of money and finances here. Two million is a lot of money for Blackpool. No one's. Has he signed a new contract, or hasn't he? No, he hasn't. See, they're playing him though. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, see, about yeah, we're not bad. If we get two mil, that might actually set us up. That's a possibility. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, next game that we're playing against is Cambridge, and we're also going to have a go at playing Chesterfield in the Vans Trophy first leg of the final. A uh, couple of big games coming up there, actually. Um, Cambridge being in those relegation places, and obviously Chesterfield. Um, it's a final, isn't it? Well, we say it's a final. It's basically a semi-final because we play the winners of the Southern League. Um, but yeah, wonderful. Please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.